name this tune. Come on, name it, name it. First person who names it gets a hug, maybe a kiss from me. That's a lot of money. Met in the bank. So, yeah, beautiful song. From a, I'll give you a hint. It's from a movie. Okay. Guys, David here. And uh, I just can't tell you how, you know, sometimes someone who is so, such a superstar, you know, like I'm always like, ah, oh, you know, whatever. They're so, they're such a big star. But I got to tell you, like these live performances from here, from her, She's got the goods, man. Billie Eilish. I really like her stuff a lot. And I love her voice. And I wanna do I wanna do a jazz record with her. I wanna I wanna write and play like produce a jazz record. I'm sure she'll do it with someone else. Obviously, she's not gonna do it with me, but I would love to do it because I think she's got such a voice and sensibility and a style, and she's influenced definitely by jazz singers. Anyway, I'm gonna get into that later probably. But I love these live perform these intimate live performances where it really shows me what these musicians and these songwriters are made of. Um, not that the albums don't, but this is another level. So Billie Eilish Skinny Live uh, came out on the 29th of July of 2024. My name is David Morgan. This is the Music Shed. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit the bell icon for notifications. Leave comments and leave a buck on the tip drop. You're so inclined to support the channel because we love your support. We need it. I mean, we got we need like a buck or two here and there. So anyway, Phineas, man, these guys are just so, they're prolific. They're deep musicians. And um, just love it. And I love that they're in a studio with some microphones and they're going to go for it live. Let's just, let's check out Skinny Live by these guys. Let's go. A song is only as high quality as it can be when you know it's gorgeous with just a guitar and a vocal. I say it all the time. Listen to that melody and that. Phineas is just such a phenomenal musician. He's multi-instrumentalist, killer piano player, guitar player, songwriter. I don't know what else the guy plays. Producer. Uh, what a team they are. But listen at how she just did that vocal live. No one sounds like that. She's got that, that incredible, her sound is so unique. And so I find there's just a lot of beauty in it. And um, soul. And it really comes from her heart, man. You know, I mean, take all of the like the the fame and the whatever and the press and the eh, away and you strip it down to this. This is this is what this is. This is the foundation of it all right here. I got skinny, but the old me is still me. Maybe the real me and I think she's pretty. Oh, dude. So beautiful. Oh, dude, come on. 
really writing about her life. She's, you know, these these songs are snapshots of where you are in your life at that moment. And you know who really did that so, so, maj- so just amazingly beautifully was Joni Mitchell. You know, like she is just a she's a foundational singer songwriter that without her, like she, you know, these these artists that summed up the past and pointed a new direction. Joni was one of them, man. And, and you know, you wonder if these songs, if this would have been possible without her doing what she did. Bob Dylan, Joni Mitchell. God, I mean, so, and and to me, this is totally on the level of that stuff. Listen to how she phrases, how she plays with the time in her vocal. Listen to that last phrase, man. How she just gets behind, more behind the time as she goes on. Listen to that. Oh, yeah. It's so effective. Oh, yes. She can hold back. She can hold back and she can let loose with that tension and release thing. That's what this artistry is all about. Being able to know what's going on. You got the world, the hidden world of emotions, creativity, imagination, heartbreak, joy, whatever, like feelings, imagine right? And the music that you hear. And then you have the technique and those two worlds come together when both of those are on a high level and make this really high art, which is what you're hearing right now. She's still, I mean, she's still, what is she like 21? Like what, how old is she right now? I don't even know. It's like early twenties. Give me a, give me a break. get into some beautiful shit right here but but i'm going to tell you that that's just melting it's melting it melts your heart it, it opens you up it, it makes you feel things that you didn't feel before it takes you on a journey this music that they write and and perform like this and it's just just absolutely gorgeous it all bo- to me it all boils down to this this is it thing how we just mentioned look how far the mics are the microphones are from the strings and now look how far the mic is from her she, she has such good technique with the mic she's just she is another violin right now that's what she's being she's just she's blending with them as one with the strings and uh her voice is a very finely tuned technically phenomenal instrument 
that she uses as she needs to at will. Oh. Oh, God, she's happy coming out of the trance. She was in a trance. Look at that smile. God bless the engineer who did this, too. That sounds so beautiful. The sounds that they got there in that studio. Magnificent. The players, the whole deal. Who played on this thing, man? Let me look at the list here. Oh, it doesn't say. Um, I don't know, man. I mean, to me, like, that's just like I could listen to that all day. And uh, it's so uh, when you when you perform every one of those musicians was in a meditation and you can only get there from thousands and thousands of hours of practice and you get into a zone and you're there and it's just your trip. It's a trip. It's the greatest trip ever. And I, I love that. I absolutely love that. So I don't know. I mean, I could go on and on, but that's what I got to say right now. Skinny Live, mwah. like perfection. Really moving, really beautiful song, stripped down, played by top notch musicians, songwriting, vocals, everything, like just unreal. I really kind of hope she does. No, I don't kind of hope. I really hope that she does a jazz record. A more jazz record with either standards or like new songs that are written in that style, like an Ella kind of record, a Sarah kind of record, an Ella Fitzgerald, Sarah Vaughan, Dinah Washington, that kind of thing. I think she she would measure up. So beautiful. I loved it. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe at the bell icon for notifications and uh, leave comments. And uh, it's really cool to be alive at a time where she is blossoming as an artist. And uh, it's great for me to watch. And uh, you guys have a very peaceful musical day. And don't forget to be nice. We need nice right now. Peace.